afternoon. <laughs> Been away for a bit and went on holiday. What else? Went on holiday, um, came back, transferred all my stuff over to my laptop. Next day, doing an upload. Well, the laptop blew up basically, and uh, nothing I could do with it. Saw an IT guy, he said, buggered, lost everything. Uh, and I have, I've lost everything. I lost all my beer recipes, I've lost all my videos, I've lost all my music, I've lost all my work, every mugging thing. Back it up. The worst thing is, bought a Bought, a, bought an external hard drive to back it all up. Didn't get around to doing it. And now it's all gone. So, um, we're starting again, really. Uh, I think that's basically it. I've, uh, it's greatly annoyed me. So, this video, Hopefully, we'll have Crew Wolf's review of his uh, Home Garden clone on it because I've still got that. It's one thing I didn't lose. Well, we'll soon find out. Um, which is a cracking beer. Nearly <laughs> everything else is gone, but we'll see what shows up in the next few weeks. Um, but we'll get this one up and then we'll do something else after this but hopefully um, hopefully this works because <laughs> it's all ramshackled now I can tell you that much my friend has just recently started to brew. Now, I got him off his first brew. He he's done an ESB. Uh, Damien's homebrew. So this is his first now, an ESB. But it's too. It's a bit cold right now, um. So give it a fair chance. Whereas this, magnificent. Mark's Garden Whip beer. It's nice and cold, which I like. And obviously, it's from Mark Wolburn, Crew Wolf. Nice hiss off it. So, this is Mark's Ho Garden clone. It's got some great carbonation running through that, isn't it? This is my Astralegalicia <laughs> glass from uh, Mallorca, which I acquired in my suitcase. I don't know how it fell in there. Foam off the top. It's amazing carbonation. Wow. So East Kent Goldings and Sars Hops are very in wheat yeast. Um brewed on the 10th of August, bottled on the 11th of September. It's now the 26th of October. That is a cracking beer. I'll put a link to Mark's channel, Crew Wolf. Um, seriously, Mark, cracking beer. Look at the 
carbonation on that. It's cracking through there. I get, and you get that Belgium style yeast off it. Lovely lacing off that glass. Nice creamy white fluffy head. That is a proper good beer. It makes me want to brew. I've got a blonde. I've done a blonde myself. Um, and I only did a very small batch. And I've, <laughs> you know, I lost a few. So I think I've got like four or five bottles of that. I may send my one back to Mark and see what he thinks. Well, I should have done a side by side even. But that doesn't need to be side by side. Anything. That is a really nice beer. That's nicer. Do you know that is nicer than Ho Garden's beer. 4.5%. Well, I drink that all day long. If you're getting beers like that in yesterday poor, 4.5%, you'd be well happy, wouldn't you? I'd be well happy with a case of that. Nice. Very nice. Um... Befriend, befriend Mark Warburton because he makes really good beer. Really good beer. I love that beer. Some, some will now dip the yeast in this beer. I've uh, took a little bit off the side and I'm going to try that and see how that changes the complexity. I like it like that. I like a clear beer. So um, this is the same beer, but I've added the yeast to the bottom of it. So you can see the difference. Much, much murkier. Excuse me. Bigger, bigger yeast, bigger Belgium -y yeast. Yep, it's really nice. It's a bold. Four percent. It's cracking beer. It's cracking beer. I don't. Um, I don't score beers, as you know. Well, most people would know who's seen my videos. So that's a. Uh, Good, bad or ugly, very good beer. And I'd buy that. Um, do like Ho Garden, has to be said. And, uh, but this is a really outstanding, I mean, as a clone goes, I think yours is, <laughs> is the best I've had. Very envious. Mark Warburton, Crew Wolf. Cheshire Whit Beer. Mm. Well done, sir. Well done.